We're back on Modern Art Blitz with my guest, Kim Martindale. Kim? Oh, I already shook your hand the first time. <laughs> I don't get a shake again? Jeez. You got Here, me. High five, high five. All right. <laughs> hey, um, so we're, we're talking LA Art Show. I'm very excited about this year's, uh, this year's presentation and the 23rd annual LA Art Show. And um, I, the one thing I'm very excited about, you have an area that is not commercial galleries. Exactly. What's it, what's it called? That area we named this year Diverse Art LA, and we really started it last year. And we have 60,000 square feet of space this year for Diverse Art LA. And it's really about an area that we're bringing in programming from nonprofits, museums. This year, actually, we're bringing up the Guadalajara Museum. Wow. And they're doing a special installation on Orozco. It's, they've mapped the murals of Orozco that, they're, that they own in the museum. And so it will be like you're walking through the Orozco murals. Without having to buy plane fare. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully that inspires a lot of people to go see how their Orozco work in Mexico and fly down to Guadalajara. But last it's year, all about that excitement. Last arts. year I had a booth and it was a, near, the, near that area. Mm -hmm. And there was a great LACMA installation by Ramiro Gomez. Um, now this year, tell us about, there's this really cool, one of, I just saw my, one of my favorite artists, every time I see his name, it's like, gotta go, gotta see it. Um, Daniel J. Martinez, and Chan yeah. Noriega is putting this on? Yes, he is, with LACMA. With so LACMA, UCLA, okay. Chicano Studies, uh, and then LACMA. They're so, joining efforts on this. Have you, have you been privy to what Daniel's yeah, up to? Yeah, so actually it was exciting. Daniel came in um, this morning, and we were going over what he's going to do. We're building a special stage for it. There's bleachers coming in. Uh-oh. So it's going to be this interactive area that you can come and contemplate it from the bleachers. You can contemplate it from a distance, but then you can also go up on the stage and see wow. what's happening there. It's a performance? Uh, no, it's, no, it's the a, wax. It, uh, it's uh, all uh, set. Okay. It's a, it's a static artwork. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Yeah. But he models a lot of the characters of the statics after himself. So he'll be oh, there for wow, some of the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So some of it, you'll be seeing him and this wow, person. Wow, 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 wow. And there's a bathtub and lots of blood involved. So. Oh, well, it wouldn't be <laughs> Martinez if it wasn't a lot of <laughs> Yes, um, indeed. And so Chan, Chan's the uh, curator? Yes. Great, great, great. And so, 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 so I mean, there's... So oh. Chan brought in that. He also brought in another artist from Mexico doing a large uh, mural piece. Um, that's hanging fabric. It's going to hang about 50 feet in this, up in this, to the ceiling. So you'll oh, be able to see that from one end of the convention center all the way through to this hanging, wow, which wow. is probably a couple hundred feet that you're going to be able to view this from. Hey, um, it, just, it, it, it just brings up a little thing with me when you say something. You have to deal with the fire marshal on these things, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, have, Has the fire marshal already said, oh, yeah, yeah, feet, yeah, 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 that's okay. If I go there so, and it's 25 feet high, I'm going to yeah, know yeah. what fire marshal talked <laughs> exactly. to you, right? Oh, yeah, they're fun. And you know, Marissa, who's with Building Bridges here in Los Angeles, uh -huh. she's bringing in several different projects. One's Great. left, right, punching bags. Oh, uh -huh. I saw, now I saw some, um, some, some images on social media or something of these right, punching right. bags. Explain to me... Because there are people you, you want to punch. They are. And it's really not supposed, it's not so much about the violence side of it, but it is a meditation and releasing that energy and putting out positive energy. They're actually going to do a performance pieces in it. But they are people that hold pow positions of power around the world at present that some people could be fairly frustrated Not necessarily with. exclusively right or nor left, just this is somebody I don't, yeah, yeah. and addressing power. And um, is it something any, the public can interact yes, with? Yes, completely. Oh, <laughs> I already know, right, which bags <laughs> I, I, I got, I'm going to make the list tonight, and I have that bag, okay, I know who I'm, I know who I'm punching yeah, first. Yeah. All right, cool. So we have that, the Orozco, the museum coming up. So we have probably Launch LA is doing well, No, Launch thing. LA is a nonprofit on La Brea. Uh, very familiar with it. Uh, I think my wife had a solo show there recently. Um, and so, but in addition to that, they're partnering with CAM, the California exactly. African American Museum, right? Exactly. Tell us about that show. So that show is a show that they're bringing in some of the artists from CAM. And it's really about African American artists and Great. Pre previewing them. And we've really not had those artists at the LA Art Show. So I'm very excited about that. Great. Because Great. I think one area of the art world that's very exciting that we're looking at bringing in in 2019 and 2020 are um, installations from Africa. 
Great. Oh, wow, wow, wow. So we've been talking to Morocco about bringing some of them. And well, I'm, so. exci I'm excited. Uh, a coagula curatorial artist, April Bay, has been curated into that show by James Panazzo. James got a great eye. So, yeah, fantastic so I was eyes. thrilled uh, that she's going to be in it. So big fan, obviously. Um, and then returning um, LA Art Association. The LA Art Association. And then we have MOLA and we have the and Autry. The, okay, MOLA is a Museum of Latin American Art. There's yep. two A's in MOLA, even yeah. though they say MOLA, right? MOLA, yeah, MOLA, yeah. MOLA. Oh, yeah. So down in Long Beach. Okay. Really important museum for oh, Latin yeah. American art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the Autry. Oh yeah, now what's going on with the Autry? So the Autry. I mean, I think the, they, they get, it's a great museum and they get short shrift because it's, it's kind of associated with Western, you know? Yeah. yeah, an American Indian, but they're bringing in one of the top American Indian artists out of Santa Fe, flying really? him in. He's gonna be doing a live mural. Wow. There, so it's, it's exciting because it's really about these, all these different cultures and museums and nonprofits are all in this diverse art area. Okay, now in addition to that, and let me tell you, we'd, we'd have a five hour broadcast to just recite them all is the commercial galleries. Correct. Speaking as an owner of a commercial gallery, I've done the LA Art Fair, and uh, the LA Art Show, and I've done art fairs, and, and you're there to have a good show, but you're there to make a buck. So, so uh, you know, people, uh, and, and one of the things, one of the interesting things I found uh, with the LA Art Show, which I can't say about every LA Art Fair is, uh, about, about every, any fair in, in the world, is I would meet people and not necessarily make a, a, a killing at the, at the fair, but, you know, somebody called one time and said, I saw this artist at your, mm -hmm. at your booth at the LA Art Show and we're finishing the house and we want to buy some. And it was like, what? And like, you know, so like, Fantastic. yeah, like f four months, five months after yeah. the LA Art Show, I'm like, oh, la, la, la. One day I wake up and because of the LA Art Show, it's like, you know, so like, you know, four $10,000 paintings, like boom, 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 you know, like yeah. this wall, that wall. And you're like, what happened? It was like the LA Art Show, like lightning struck well, a little late, but hey, I'll, I'll take it, right? Yeah. I mean, I mean, so you, it's about building relationships. It's completely about building relationships. And I think that people, I hope, flow through the whole fair and Ooh, see everything lot, there. Man. It's a lot. So you might even want to put on your calendar a couple days, like come to the opening, have fun, come back another day. Wear comfortable shoes. Indeed. Yeah. But this year we're really excited about some new galleries that are coming. Koenig Gallery is coming out of Berlin. Out of Berlin. Wow. So, and they're usually just at, you know, Art Basel. Yeah. And so they're coming in. Patrick Painter's coming back with a bigger presence this year. Oh, he's, I, saw, I saw on the map the booth. The booth, the booth yeah. looks pretty big, yeah. And Macaulay from Vancouver um, coming down with some top artists. Okay. Um, so, and Castor Lime Goodman coming more with kind of secondary art market, like Ed Boucher and that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, I and mean, that's, so, that's like... Um, you kind of need that standard. I mean, the secondary yeah. market, and, 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 and a lot of galleries have been getting hit. Um, they used to do a lot more secondary, but I, people are savvy now. They can go on, not necessarily eBay, but you can, you can go on a lot of Artnet, like for example, you, you can go on a lot of sites and sell your, you can figure out, oh my, yeah. you know, you don't need the middleman. But that concern that we were talking about earlier, about the historic work and whether it's a fake or something, here you're buying from a gallery Boom. that has a reputation. Re reputable gallery, provenance, here it is. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Far, far, uh, well, it's far less risky, you know. Yeah. And, um, and seeing the work in person is always, I mean, and that's, a, that's the big thrill. Indeed. And a couple of really important galleries from Korea are coming in, SM Fine Art. Oh, yeah. Um, they're doing a special exhibit on Tan Se Kwa, which is, this is the fourth edition of Tan Se Kwa, which is a certain type of art. Only 12 artists are recognized of that type As of art. As Tan Se Kwa artists. artists. From what, Korea, what, what is it? Kind of wow. 1960. There's still living artist Kim Tae Ho, which will be at the show. Okay. It's very simple art. Um, like a minimalism? Minimalism, okay. indeed. And it's from, from a bygone era? Well, from the 60s is when it kind of started. Okay. And then Kim Tae-ho is still an active artist. He's so there's the only youngest like... of those 12. He's the youngest of those okay. 12. Okay, and the longest living now, and, and, right. that's, and that's it. Then, the, then we bookended Correct. it. Correct. Wow. Those are the Tan Se Kwa artists. There can be other people that will paint in that style, but those are the 12. Wow, wow, so wow. it's great to have that exhibit um, you know, coming back with Tan Se Kwa the fourth time. We have different artists each year. Kind of thing. We wow. had Kim Tae Ho as part of the exhibit last year, and I was fortunate enough to get a painting from my personal oh, collection. Oh, hey, hey, hey! So, speaking of which, tell us about uh, on the map I saw K R Martindale Fine Art. Yeah, tell so us about this, this year is the first year that I'm really doing a booth at the show. Okay. And normally I'm really busy with it, but this year we're actually inviting four tribal art galleries. Oh, okay. So it's kind of an interesting mix that um, Freeze has done and some of the other shows have done. And I've been in tribal art all my life. You know, I started with the very first tribal art show when I was 16 that okay. we mentioned okay. earlier. And so it's been a part of my life. So I want to share it with this world. 
and it's something that I've kind of kept out of the show, but as more major shows do it, I was like, hey, this is another big part of my life, so I wanted great, to introduce great. it. So we have one of the top galleries coming with African art, Indonesian art, and then antiquities like Egyptian and pre-Columbian. Whoa, okay, and that's, then, yeah. And then my gallery will be Mayan material, and then I'm doing a special show on Navajo textiles, and it's only one type of Navajo textiles, American Indian type of Navajo. And it's from 1870 to 1900, so it's Germantown, and I'm calling it, and maybe this will create some conversation or controversy, maybe, but I'm calling it the first modern art, 1870 to 1900. You know, I, I would agree with you about the Navajo tapestries. They're, they're, they look like, like Donald Judd could have done them. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. And Tony Berlant kind of coined the term um, that these are kind of paintings done with wool. And he was the one that really said, these are kind of the first contemporary pieces, oh. modern pieces done in the United States. So I'm doing an exhibit just of those pieces. So you, you, you haven't had anybody, when they saw you on the map, Karen Martin, they'll like, hey, hey, could I have a solo show? Could, could you put some, <laughs> no, nobody's hit you up yet? Okay, 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 well, get used to it. If you're there enough, they will, let me tell you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hazard of the job. So, um, you know, you, you, in, the, in the previous segment, you gave a shout out to Alison Starcher about helping to start up Little Topia. And I was thinking, 23 years, how many people have you ended up employing in, in that a lot. time? How many, how many people will... So, so we start with a team of really, like right now, Cassandra Voyages. Oh, yeah, Cassandra, yeah, great. Person. Oh, yeah. And then Katrina comes on and Sandra and other people come on. So we have a team of like three, four, five, you know, for about four or five months of the year. Okay. Just a team of Cassandra and I the rest of the time. But then, as we get closer, like right now, we're at about 150 people. Wow, wow. And, but the convention center takes care of like security and all that stuff, No, right? we, we bring oh, no, in you, our, oh, you have to, oh yeah. yeah. So, so if we put security in that, then we're at like probably 200, 200 people or so. Job creator, job creator right here, okay? Yeah. So, so, and then now let's multiply that by how many fairs have you done? 23, I mean, that's, you know, yeah, you've, exactly. you've, you've employed a lot of people. People have gone on to other things, other got their start in art careers. and stuff. So, so, um, when, when you look at an L.A. contemporary gallery, uh, you know, like, the, who's the alpha collector? You know, who are you, like, marketing to to come buy art from them? Like, like, like can you describe the kind of person that, that you want at the L.A. art show? Like, entertainment industry people? What, who are you really looking for? But I, that's the great thing about L.A. is because of the diversity that's here in Los Angeles, that we have that entertainment collector that will come to the show. Oh, yeah. Then we have some of the biggest collectors in the world, right? We have Eli Broad here that's come to the show. You know, Linda Resnick. Oh, you wow. know, these are two of the biggest collectors in the world. So we have a wide range. And then I'm also really excited about what we talked about in that first segment about how collecting has changed here in Los Angeles over the last three years. Oh. And there's a lot more people that are starting to form collections that could form whatever level of collection they probably want. Oh, yeah. And, and, and you've probably noticed this too, a lot of New York galleries have moving, moved here. opening a satellite space, or just moving, flat out moving here, and there's, there's a lot of action here. I mean, New York is still, it's the capital of the art world. I can't, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to pretend yeah, it's Right not. now it's, it is. Yeah, yeah, but. We want it to be Yeah, give it, give it a little time, give it a Indeed. little time. Indeed. So. And, but that's what I'm excited about the LA Art Show, is that it's not a myopic show, or it's not just an Asian show, or a Latin American show, or a cutting edge show. It's a wide range of show, and we have those areas like Little Topia or Roots that we've talked about before, yeah. or Core now, you or know, Modern Contemporary. See, here's the thing. One of my critiques of a lot of art fairs is, is they, 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 they have these selection committees, which is, which is good. You kind of want to weed the garden, but they end up being these kind of homogenous shows. I've even said a lot of art fairs, you could take the placard off one gallery yeah. and swap it with a couple other galleries, and nobody would know the difference. LA Art Show is is very. It's always been diverse. It's been a hallmark. And if you, but if you, you know, if you want minimalism, there's minimalism. If you want, if you want some gestural painting, I mean, there's every kind of uh, art imaginable. Especially, you've you've amped it up. Right? And I think it's reflective of what's happening in LA. And I think that's why the show has lasted for 23 years and grown every year in those 23 years. The art scene has grown every, every yeah, year exactly. for 23 years. Every time I turn around, it's like, who, who are these people in my art world? <laughs> Get out of here, you know? But it's reflective of that. And that's what I try to do with the LA Art Show and kind of go, and I think that a lot of people in, are trying to decide what kind of art is it that I'm really responding to that I want to form that collection of. And I want them to come to the LA Art Show and, dis and see all of these different kinds and decide, okay, I'm, I'm gonna collect this for a while. Well, Maybe I remember, they'll switch, but. You, you've described a phenomenon, I, I can give you a specific example, it's, and it's not urban legend, it's, it is um, the Nortons. Remember Peter and mm -hmm. Eileen Norton, they're big collectors for, for many, many years, great people, and um, really helped put LA on the map. I mean, you can't, you can't even 
you know, when they tell the story of the LA art scene, the, the Nortons are really front and center in, in, in the 90s and or, or, you know, early decades of this century. Uh, but they started off with neon art. Like they thought, oh, neon yeah, art, yeah. that's cool. And finally they were like, oh, and, and they really educated themselves and moved on and then and they, didn't, they didn't collect neon art anymore. And I'm not, you know, but they went on to, to, to bigger and better things. And, and you're right, like, people start, you know, LA collectors especially, I think New York, it's a little more like, this is the way you be a collector and maybe a little more conformist. And I think- More defined, I do think. Do we have like Indeed. idiosyncratic uh, collectors mm -hmm. here where they just, you know, if they like a little extra something in that collection, they're not afraid, you know? Yeah. You know. And that's why I like the diversity at the show, so people can come and really explore that and, and see these different things and get excited about different types of art because I don't think it is just about one type of art at all. You know, I've, I've noticed that too. I, I have a couple collectors who, who specifically by, by you know, one artist, and they'll, they'll come in and they'll say, okay, uh, you know, they'll come to the fair and they'll say, well, you know, what do they got with this artist and this artist? I, you know what, you got to walk around because there's just so much here. It's like you're not going to, you can't just run to that booth and say, you know, it's not, it's not for a narrow... Uh, That's the goal, is yeah. to get people to explore. So. And I think it's important to explore in person, too. I think a lot of people get caught in just exploring online, too, which I think is great to learn. And oh, but it, it's the curse of the times we live in. I, I, the, it's, you know, here you are watching us online, and you could be out living your life. No, <laughs> <laughs> but, but come to the show yeah. to see what we're talking about and see that artist that you've Googled online or whatever. Absolutely. And see it in person, like the artist I was just talking about earlier that I bought a piece for last year for my own collection, Kim Tae Ho. It's this Korean artist, Tan Se Kwa artist, and it's got depth to it. And when you look at it on a screen, you only see one depth, but it goes back in and you can't see it. My, you you can't, gotta there's see no it way to person. digitally reproduce Completely. some of the, uh, most of the art experience. You have to see, it, see and, and I didn't know anything about Tan Se Kwa. See, so here I'm, I'm supposedly the art expert, Tan Se Kwa. Oh. Okay, see, I, I, I gotta, I know, you're watching this and Googling Google. that. I don't have that advantage, but I, I will be Googling it in a It in begins a with a D. Oh, Don Saqua. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, boy. <laughs> okay. Well, Kim Martindale, I'll give you, okay. We got a few minutes. Uh, you got any last thing you want to tell us about? I mean, you've, you've been good about saying, come on down. I've been saying good about come on down. Right. I'm, I, I've been a booster for your fair for quite a, quite a few years. Uh, any, 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 any parting thoughts as people are right now getting online at, to laartshow.com to buy those tickets? If, you, if you're in Los Angeles, you live in one of the most exciting places to live for art right now. Oh, yeah. So I think embrace that and go to the museums, go to the galleries that are here, because it's, it's happening here. If you live outside of Los Angeles and you're watching this, I invite you to come and see what's happening in Los Angeles. If you're in Los Angeles and you live on the west side and you don't think downtown's changed in the last five years, oh man, it's time for you to come downtown. In the last 20 minutes, man. To the <laughs> convention center. Oh, where did that come from? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And see what's happening, the museums that are down here, the restaurants that are happening downtown. Um, so I just implore you to come and explore Los Angeles wherever you're viewing this from and you're gonna have an amazing art experience. Real quick, here's one of those on the spot questions people hate me for, but I gotta ask, have you ever taken public transportation to the LA Art I have not. You have not, oh! And I, shame on me. Oh, really, okay, well, maybe this is the year we, maybe we'll take the banana caster <laughs> out to the, to the go. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can tell you now with the, um, with the expo line, the blue line, I mean, you, no matter where you live, you can get to a train station very easily. If you're in Pasadena, that gold line yeah. you transfer, that the blue line, the expo line, you get off at the Chick Hearn station. Yeah, it's right uh, there. Right by Staples. It, I'm sure you've taken it to like a Springsteen concert or, 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 uh, or uh, who's that, Taylor Swift, I made the mistake of going to get a meal in LA Live when Taylor Swift yeah. was, I don't even know who that is, but let me tell you, every 14 year old girl but in, in the world. Staples Center did. and LA Live are right next to the convention It's center. right there. Chick Hearn Station, he was the broadcaster for the Lakers, has, yeah. a, has his own station. He's passed away, but you can go to this, that's where you get off. You walk across and the convention center, it's, you're going to, Wear comfortable shoes. Indeed. I, I, yeah. So. And yes, the good advice. Right. Well, this is going to be the year you take the and train. And we're going to have some great food down there yeah. at opening and throughout the weekend. So come and spend time. Oh, the food, the food at the park. Now, wait, there's, and there's also decent food. I was impressed with the food last year we're, at the convention center. It's not like of old. We have know. three different areas. So you can just get grab and go if that's your thing. We have some healthy bowls. But then we have a nice china area that we're sit down, have china. Have a really nice linen meal. tablecloths. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, Kim, you've done a you've done your job selling the fair. I'm a booster. I'm happy to have you, and I can't wait to be broadcasting live 
from the LA Convention Center, the LA Art Show, episodes of Modern Art Blitz with the most happening people at the fair. It's going to be and great. And we're excited to have them there because I think it's going to be amazing who's flying in for the fair this it's year. Going to, it's going to be great. All right, Kim, thank you so much One for being our time. guest. Thank you. All right, we'll see you all. Come to the gala Wednesday night. We'll see you there. <laughs>